Hello everyone, it's Cathy here and welcome to this live stream on this lovely Thursday lunchtime. Um, I'm going to be talking today about abundance and taking you through an energy process that will help you to uh, step into your true power. We are essentially infinite beings. We are in physical form, yes. We are human, but it's at our essence, we are so powerful. And so what I want to take you through is a, a process that will help you to, first of all, connect to that power that you are, and then to start to call in, uh, to create like an, an energy field uh, with, within you that helps you to be magnetic to the kind of abundance that you're wanting to experience in your life. Okay, so abundance and money, that it's such an interesting, uh, it's such an interesting kind of, what would you call it, concept or uh, structure. It, it, money particularly is something that really uh, has a big impact on us, but it's, it's something that's very powerful and it helps us really confront a lot of the patterns that we have inside ourselves that are in the way of us receiving it, uh, of receiving abundance. It's a, a really good construct to uh, explore within ourselves because it, it brings up so much stuff for us to deal with. It really helps us grow. It helps us uh, see where we've been living in lack and limitation. Hi, Joanna. And um, it helps us transcend it. So it's a, a really useful avenue for helping us grow and develop into who we're born to be. The thing about money is we think we, we, we decide that we want the money, but what we really want the money for is what it will bring us. So it's not the actual having of the, the notes or the coins or the, the bank balance. Hi, Sonia. It's what the money can bring us. And then if you break that down further, what if you think about the experiences or what it is that you uh, want to have or what all of the things that the, uh, the money can buy, when you think about those, it's what is the feeling that you want to have from having acquired those? And that is where you then start to, when you come from that angle, you then start to access something that's very powerful are very creative. Normally if we stay in our heads and we just say, oh, I just want money or I, I, do, I want £5,000 a month or, or £100,000 a year or whatever, if you leave it as a, a figure and you don't have an, an emotional connection to it, then it's very difficult to actually call that in. It, it's the energy and the emotion that's the important part because that's when you're in, uh, it's like that's the vibration that you step into. So, you know, you might want the money, for example, to, uh, to, have, to be able to buy your own house or to pay off your mortgage or um, to buy a new car or whatever it is that you want to buy. But that, you know, buying your own house might be that you want to feel secure and safe, uh, that you want to have that sense of home, of a space that you can create connection and togetherness for your family where you feel rooted and grounded, like you've got that, um, it's like a, a rock, uh, like your sense of, uh, like a base. Um, it gives you feelings of relaxation and, and you've got that freedom to use this space however you decide it. Um, if you have, you might, maybe you want to attract, you're telling yourself you want more clients. So rather than money, you're wanting clients to come into your business. Um, or you wanted to sell more product or something. And that in itself is not the end goal. What you're really wanting through that is perhaps, and it will be different for everyone, maybe a sense of purposefulness, a sense of satisfaction that you're contributing who you are to the world, uh, that sense of self-expression, or maybe it's about growth and expansion, uh, connecting with other people being able to help others and, and give uh, and also to receive, to feel that sense of being in flow, to feel 
maybe a sense of um, of ease and creativity that having more clients flowing through your business would, would bring you. And then when you think about relationships, you might be putting out there from your head that you, you just want your relationships to run smoothly or you wish that your partner could be like X, Y, Z or, or you wish that the kids would uh, you know, do what you tell them to or you know, because they're driving you nuts. But what you're really wanting to experience is, and again, this would be for you to really feel into and, and find yourself, but these could be feelings of connection, of love, of intimacy, of openness, of caring, of a sense of contentment in being together, a sense of like the freedom and having the space to be who you really are without having to put any masks on or, you know, you just got that sense of relaxation and acceptance for, for who you are. You don't have to um, pretend in any way. Um, and, and you might want to experience fun and laughter and a sense of lightness, being able to share wonderful experiences together, maybe friendship and, uh, you know, just feeling really cherished and cared for, looked after, respected, valued. All these are the things that when we're asking for what we want from a head level, there's an underlying um, emotional experience that we're really seeking so it's very powerful to drop down into that and ask yourself what is it that I really want to feel so what I'm going to some of the, what uh, what usually happens though is we we do stay stuck often in the head level and we have this fixed way of thinking that I can't achieve oh thanks Sonia she's saying she loves the words I'm using that's great. I'm glad it's helpful because it's uh, for me. This is really helpful too, just to kind of pinpoint what those feelings are that you want. Because it's very easy to stay stuck on a on the other level of um, you, you know the the words of what we want rather than the feeling of what we want. I don't know if I explained that very clearly, but um, for me, it's about when you can when you can tune into the feelings you can start to draw them you can start to draw that experience to you because you're being an energetic match so law of attraction can kick into action um it, often when we stay on the head level we have this sense that things are fixed that they uh about, and things can only happen in a certain way so you know if you have that that house that you want to buy if your head gets in the way and it gets in logical and linear and it says that can only be done if I win the lottery or if I work my socks off uh, for 25 years or, you know, and it, and it logically sort of maps things out and, it's, and it tells you how things are. And so it holds, um, it holds at bay other possibilities as your head's trying to lead with logic. And that's, you know, we've got this so much more power to us than, than the head, than what the head knows. And using your energy is the way to do that. So what we're going to do, oh, thank you, Sonia. She likes my, <laughs> likes my spiral necklace. Yes, my favorite. Hi, Linda. Um, so what we're going to do now is an energy process so that you can kind of drop down into the experience level of, what abundance is to you and uh once you're in that i'm going to get you to like really experience this from your powerful infinite self and at the end you'll just experience yourself how how powerful this is uh, and at the end of it i'd love to hear how you how what was your experience like and you know whether uh how it touched you whether it felt different than just kind of a normal meditation or yeah let me know so well let's get started anyway so just if you're uh, if you'd like to get yourself nice and comfortable get yourself into a comfortable position where you're not going to be disturbed and just turn off your phones or anything that's going to go ping on your computer and I'll just lead you into this so close your eyes and just start to take some nice, slow, deep breaths into your belly. And 
and just notice how your body moves around your breath. Notice the air going in and out of your nostrils. And don't try and force your breath. Just keep watching, observing. Almost noticing how your breath is breathing you. And as you breathe, just notice your breath will gently slow down and become wider and deeper. And as it does that, just allow your body to relax even more. Allow your body to feel supported. Feel your feet on the ground. And just notice the connection of your feet with the ground and imagine that through the soles of your feet that you have roots that reach right down down into the heart of the planet into the heart of mother earth and just being aware that this planet that we live on is actually divine consciousness this mother earth gaia it's like a divine consciousness in physical form like us And at her heart, when you can connect into that center, just connect with a sense of warmth, a sense of nurturing, nourishing energy, this divine feminine energy, deeply supporting, unconditional love. And just imagine that you can draw this energy up through those roots, up through the soil, through the rocks, through the stone, up through into your feet up through your ankles, your lower legs, up past your knees, through your thighs, up into your hips and your belly. Keep drawing it up into your solar plexus and up into your heart. And feel that heart to heart connection with Mother Earth. And just allow yourself to let go into this support, allowing yourself to be held, feeling that sense of unconditional love. Just letting go more and more, giving your weight to the earth, knowing that there's nothing that you need to do, nothing that you need to force. Just allowing yourself to open and receive and be held. And at the same time, just imagine that there's a beautiful light way above you, the light of consciousness. And imagine drawing down a beam of this light down to the top of your head. Imagine your crown opening up to receive this light and flow the light down through your crown down through your forehead, illuminating your forehead from within so that you can clear anything in the way of you being able to see and perceive and know what's true for you. Flow it down through your face, through your ears, through your eyes, down through your neck, into your throat. And just allowing that light to really flood your throat area so that you can speak clearly, communicate your truth, speak what you wish to create into the world. And then flow the light down over your shoulders, down through your arms, your fingers and your hands, down through into your chest, into your heart space, flooding your heart with light, flooding your heart with unconditional love acceptance, compassion and then flowing it down into your solar plexus, into your power centre and just take a nice deep breath and draw the light down flooding it through your power centre 
that sense of self and then flowing it down into your sacral chakra through your sexual energy through your sexual center through your hips your belly your center of your creativity and then flowing it down into the base of your spine where you're rooted into your physical being your sense of security of safety of being safe to be here in your body on the earth just flow the light through here flowing it then down through your legs down past your knees through your lower legs down through your ankles and feet and send the light down to the heart of mother earth again so you're really connected above and below and just now put your focus into your heart space again and imagine that in your heart that there is a light glowing and as you breathe into your heart that light starts to expand out your breath is like bellows making it brighter and brighter expanding it out through every cell of your body through every nerve through every muscle through every bone, through all the fluids, up to the top of your head, out to the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes. Just keep breathing into your heart, pumping this light out. Expand it out through into your energy field. Imagine now your energy field is starting to fill up with light, becoming brighter and brighter, more and more intensified. And now that energy is expanding out into the universe, out beyond your energy field. And as you send that light out, just notice how there's no edges to you. There's nothing separating you from the rest of the universe. And just take some moments just to enjoy this connection, the peace of who you really are noticing that you can send your awareness out in any direction and it just continues out into infinity there is no end to who you are and in this place of your infinite being there is no lack or scarcity this is the field of complete abundance of unconditional love it's the place where there is no construct of time. So past, present and future all exist in this moment now, which means that you can connect to everything that you might have learned in the past, everything that's to come, any lifetime that you may have had or, or are going to have. So all of this knowledge and wisdom is available to you now. There's nothing separating you between you and any other being. So all wisdom is accessible from here. You are part of this one field of consciousness. You can access every part of it. So just sense your vastness, your greatness. And coming from this place of your power, this pure creational power of the universe, the power that creates worlds, the power that's at your, available to you, that's at your fingertips to create anything that you desire in your life. Just imagine being able to create from this place and connect to the abundance that you wish to experience in your life. So imagine that you are rolling forward in time just some way down your timeline, maybe it's six months or 12 months, maybe more, maybe less. And just get a sense of yourself in that future version of you. Imagine, in, imagine looking through the eyes of your future self and feeling what your future self is feeling, being able to hear what your future self can hear. And just notice what life is like when you're in flow, where you're experiencing the abundance that life has lined up for you. You notice how it is with your finances. Do you have this sense of freedom for your life where you're able to choose what you want to be? Where you're able to choose what you can do, what you can learn, where you can go? what you can have 
and just get a sense of what this means for you. Feel those feelings that this would bring you, a sense of relaxation and ease of being, having that financial flow through your life, feeling that sense of solidity, of feeling safe, secure, feeling grounded or rooted, a sense of feeling at home, wherever you are. Maybe your sense of abundance is about finding or being with your soulmate or de the deepening of your relationships, having wonderful shared memories, having deep, open, connected conversations with your loved ones, a sense of togetherness, a sense of intimacy, a feeling that someone has your back, someone cares, you're supported, feeling loved, feeling cherished, respected, adored, valued. Maybe it's a sense of feeling sexy and attractive, feeling happy in your own skin, deeply loving and feeling fully connected to yourself, having that space to be yourself, experiencing and receiving kindness, having fun, laughing lots, having lots of beautiful friendships that really nourish you, experiencing a sense of profound inner joy. And just tune into all of the things that really resonate with you, feel them in your body. Maybe abundance for you is that sense of feeling successful in your work or your business, being able to perhaps confidently stand in front of a, a room or on a stage, being able to confidently speak your truth, share your heart. Maybe you have a dream to become internationally known for what you're passionate about. Maybe it's about writing a best-selling book, getting a degree, learning, expanding, growing. Maybe it's about feeling free from fear, feeling healthy and strong and vibrant in your body. Maybe it's a sense of experiencing newness, things that you've never done before feelings that you've never felt before. Perhaps abundance is about feeling purposeful, satisfied. Satisfied with how you're contributing, who you are to the world and being able to really freely express that. Joyfully helping others and receiving in equal measure. Feeling in flow. Maybe abundance for you is about having that freedom to travel, to be on adventures around the world, feeling full up on life, being grateful for everything that life has brought you, being surrounded by the beauty of nature, having a sense of much more ease in everyday living, feeling inspired and guided feeling creative, feeling divinely supported, having no limits or barriers, and having the right and the power to live life on your own terms. Feeling worthy of receiving good things. Having clarity about the next steps on your path. And having an overflowing feeling of plenty so that you have lots to share being able to experience the magic and miracles in life every day. So out of all of this abundance, just feel how that feels in your energy, in your, around you, in your energy field. Feel it really alive. 
feel how your vibration, as you tune into these energies, starts to rise, feels lighter. And now reconnect to your heart. Reconnect to that light in your heart. Expand that light out through your body, out through your energy field, out through into that infinite sense of self, out into the universe. And imagine that you can pull energy from every corner of the universe into your energy field, pulling it from every direction, from above you, below you, from all sides, charging up these vibrations that you've been generating, making them powerful, bring it, making them stronger, more and more potent, really boosting them up, just pulling light in from everywhere and breathing it in as you pull it in, making it stronger and stronger. And now take a, a deep breath into your heart, pulling all of these vibrations into your heart space, and on the exhalation, expand that energy back out into the universe, sending it out in every direction, out to every person, every place, every level, every dimension, out to every higher consciousness that is going to be instrumental in helping you manifest this into your physical life. And as you send that out, send it out with a very clear command, I release all blocks and resistance to being the abundance that I truly am. I am open and willing to receive what's truly mine. I am ready to receive all the abundance that's waiting for me. And imagine as you send that out, that the cogs of the universe are starting to turn. They're responding to this vibration that you're being because it's connected to you. You are not separate from this field. It's always responding and reacting to who you're being. So now send a big wave of gratitude out to the universe with that sense of certainty that this is on its way to you. This or something better is now going to manifest. And just repeating this one more time, reconnecting with your energy field and just pulling in all the vibrations or reconnecting with all the vibrations that you wish to experience that represent abundance for you. That sense of financial freedom and flow and ease, a sense of being supported, being guided, being connected a sense of being deeply loved, being able to express yourself without mass, being really allowed to be seen, being acknowledged, being respected, being deeply loved. See yourself in your business, in your work, making that difference that you want to make, feeling a sense of satisfaction, of joy, of being in flow. feeling that sense of confidence, feeling able to step up into your power, feeling free from fear, feeling that sense of growth and expansion and lightness, being able to live fully from your power, on living life on your own terms. So again, now uh, reconnect to your heart, Imagine expanding out through your heart, out through your energy field, out through into the universe. Expand out to the furthest corners of the universe and imagine drawing powerful energy from every part of the universe into your energy field, charging up all of these vibrations that you've been tuning into. Feel them becoming more and more highly charged, being fully boosted. Feel it. Feel the vibration within you rising. As you breathe into it, keep pulling that light in. And now draw all of this energy into your heart on your in-breath. And on your exhalation, sending that energy back out into the universe, 
out to every person, every level, every place, every dimension, to all higher consciousness, it's going to help you to create this in your life. And sending a command to the universe, I am ready and willing to receive this now. Please clear all channels so that I can receive this easily. Notice the cogs of the universe turning in response to who you're being. And send that wave of gratitude out to every part of the universe as if this is a certainty, that this is a done deal, that you have made an order and it's going to be fulfilled. So sending that gratitude out from your heart. And now let that go, let the universe take charge. Let go of having to force it to make it happen. And just gently allow yourself to come back into your body, feel yourself back in the room, feel yourself settling in, landing, just wiggling your fingers and toes, just to allow yourself to really gently ease back into this moment into your physical self, feeling yourself grounded, Just bringing yourself with a few breaths, I think bringing yourself back with a few breaths and just when you're ready open your eyes and just let me know when you're back. Just hi to all the people who've just joined recently. Hi Shakira, hi Greg, hi Debbie. <clears throat> okay, so I hope, hope you're back, hope you enjoyed that. Um, there's something, when you're, it's really important to know, <laughs> oh, hi Joanne, glad you're back. <laughs> it's really important to know, oh thanks Sonia, she said it's beautiful. It's, it's important to know that like this is really powerful. It's more, it's more powerful than you might think. You are coming from your true power. You are sending a vibration, a command out to the universe. It's not that you're just going, oh, can I have this, this, and this? You're, at, you're going, this is what I want. And it's like the, you're, you're making the shape that you want. You're not, get, you're not just taking the shape that is given to you in life and fitting into that shape you're making the shape of what you're wanting and the universe will respond to that so choose what shape you want your life to be when you're sending out this this message out to the universe the way the universe will bring this abundance to you is not that it will bring you the house of your dreams and just like plunk it in your path it will bring you the circumstances to clear whatever is out of alignment within you, anything that is resistant within you to receiving that, it will bring you the opportunities to bring those patterns up to the surface. So it's likely that you will get triggered, that you will um, maybe start to feel some kind of discomfort, you'll start to experience old patterns coming to the surface, old emotions. Now it doesn't, it's not all going to be really uncomfortable, but just be aware that discomfort is likely to arise at certain times. But this is a good sign. Uh, when it does, just recognize, okay, this is what is being released and don't buy into it. Your mind will try and trick you into thinking that this is who you are. It will try and get you to identify with, oh, well, I'm not good enough. Who am I to have a house like that? Who am I to think I could be able to do X, Y, Z? This is all just tricks of the mind. So allow yourself to go with it if you can. Giving that experience your awareness, your consciousness. and um, But also, you know, some of this can be really tricky. So if you need support with this, find someone that can help you release these stuck patterns. Um, it's, it, it's, these are stuck in your unconscious. So work with someone who works at that level. Um, if you want to, if you want my help, there's a couple of ways that, that you can do that. Um, you can dip a toe into the, uh, the world of transformation. I'm actually running, uh, I've got a couple more dates from my Activate Abundance workshop. 
I've got one coming up on the 21st of April in uh, just on the Hertfordshire, Buckinghamshire, Buckinghamshire sort of Middlesex area, just outside of Denham. Uh, that's so 21st of April. That will be a beautiful place called the Healers Grove. And on the 28th of April, it will be in Worthing in West Sussex. And I'll put the just, uh, link in the box so that you can find out a bit more information about what we're going to be covering on that. But it's it's about learning uh, different energy tools and different processes to kind of get clear about what you're wanting and what some of the resistance is to receiving uh, and expanding your capacity to receive abundance. So that's for the day. And if you're ready to really transcend some of these patterns, if you've been sort of bashing your head against the glass ceiling and you can't seem to break through and you don't know why that is, or you feel like you've got really clear about what your dreams are, but there's some fears in the way and your head talk is just overpowering you, then if you're ready to really look at that and to sort of look at, to the, look at your shadows to go into that with real confidence and courage, then I can help you do that through doing uh, one-to-one -one work. It does require you to kind of really be ready to jump in though, to, to take on board some of the, uh, the, the patterns that we have that tell us why we can't have what we want. And it will, like for me, when I've been through this recently, it, it opened all kinds of old stuff that I just, you know, I'd been blocking it for ages because there was so much shame and guilt and all of those uh, lower emotions attached to. And so I'd been avoiding feeling them. And, and you know, my, um, it's like my ego self didn't want to go anywhere near it. So I had to work with other people to really be able to lift the lid on this. Uh, but once this happens, it's like the, the keys to your abundance journey are in the shadows. So if you can shine a light in there and and access them, then it means that you can access and bring back more parts of yourself. It's like reclaiming those those parts of us that we've pushed away and uh, sent off into into the shadows that we didn't want to see. When you can reclaim that, there's more of you that's available to receive abundance. So if you'd like my help to do that, then uh, this is what I do best. And just um if you you can book a possibility call with me and we can talk about what that might look like what your desires are what you feel is in the way what you uh would really like to experience in your life and and to be able to access your power to really make this happen so i'll put a link in the description where you can book a possibility call and um it's completely free so let me know about that other than that you can access my magnetize yourself to money which is a, a free energy process it's about 20 minutes long and I, again i'll put a description to that in the box it's a, a shorter version of what we've done today so if there's anything any questions that you have or there's any uh anything that i can do to help or you know just drop me an email i'd love to hear from you and uh other than that i shall say goodbye but that's it for me for now bye